I am David Spiteri and today I'm going to show my students here um, how to do a shampoo and condition. Um, so here we have our client. First we have to cover her with, with the nape and towel. Make sure that we cover her completely. So we brush her hair so to take off the knots. Always check whether the client has got any earrings or any other things on their faces. So to take them always with the client whether she's comfortable or not. Are you comfortable? Yes. Open the water tap and check it on your hand and make it look warm water. Never use. So when you when you're putting on the client's head, use slight movements. Cutting movements downward, so not to have water on her face. After finishing the rin rinsing her hair, you squeeze up so to take away excess of water. You take a little bit of shampoo, the size of an almond will be. Rub it between your hands and apply it to the hair. Go! Start from top and going downwards using gentle movements. So the first technique is the friction movement. So to remove debris, if she's got gel or other sprays, so to remove all excess oil from the head and you begin from the top massaging to the end. First you begin fast movement so to remove all the debris and sprays or whatever the client had got to the skull. Go. It's important to cover all around the line behind the ears and round the back of the hair as they are the most areas which are greasy and sweaty rub it properly for about a minute after friction movement work circular movement all the way down then back again with the friction move. once done take away hair from the face Open the tap and always check that it's lukewarm water, never too hot. You can do again the sliding down movement. Is it okay for you? Two? Do a second shampooing with the same technique. Once you're done, squeeze hair and use a clean towel. It is important to remove excess water as this will dilute the conditioner which will not be effective as it should be. For the conditioner use the same amount, rub to your hands and apply from the mid of the hair. Use massage technique by using circular movements. This is done to remove tension and relax the client. This is the time to detangle the hair. Once it's done, you have to rinse the conditioner from the hair. Check again the water that it's lukewarm as we have done. Squeeze excess water from the hair, it can break the hair. Now it's time for the students to practice. Ouch! Oh, slowly! Sorry. Are you comfortable? Yeah, that's fine. I am. You? Are you comfortable? Okay. 
Slowly, you have to go slice down to the basement. So you see what happened? Came on his face. Always check the water because sometimes it. Now after it's done, what do we have to do? Shampoo. Shampoo. Not that much. <laughs> I know it has to be a little bit rough, but not that much. Friction movement. Look at this bit. Like that you have to do it. And going down to the back. Important that you have to cover around the hairline, the back of the ears. Let me see this bit, okay? You know why? Because behind the ears and the neck, there is more... Behind the ears as well. Don't forget to check the water. It has to be the point. Once you're done. But check always the decline, okay? Oh, is it okay? No, it's okay. Good. Sliding down. Good. Don't forget. Legs are a bit sensitive. If you'll be rough with them, they will never come back. Good. Like a little bit. You see? And she's doing sliding downward to the base. You know why you will have dry the hair before applying conditioner? Close it, close it. Yeah, because it's split end. No, not because it's split end. You will have to you know why? That's it, that's it. It's not a big deal. 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 Is doing is to remove the knots. Always as we can How's the water? It's good. Now squeeze the excess. We squeeze it and not rub it immediately with the towel. Very nice. Okay, you can put it. Now we don't need to put it on here. You want to be coming in front, pull the climb up and up. And then Je 
this was our learning tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and I'm sure you will find this video useful. Thank you.